Hmm. Well, he just spoiled everybody's May 2 for a weekend. Doug Ford the sent emergency order to the 19th of this month, uh, right after May 2 for a weekend, and Monday, the 18th. So, you know that telling me right there? I tell you what it tell me. That he, doesn't, he doesn't care about May 2 for a weekend. People want to go out and do stuff. Well, people are going to go out, they're going to do stuff, but they're going to have to rack up well, quite a few emergency measure tickets on this. May 2 for a week, plus, you know, not having no public fireworks display, well, that's a bummer. Because nobody's going to have people want to go, people are really bored, you know, because this long May 2 for a week ain't going to be a real bummer, because, coming up, because it ain't going to be any fireworks, public this fireworks display. So that means, oh, i tell you what that means. I mean, two fingers. People are going to try to buy their own fireworks, but there's other places that normally open this time of year. Kaboom, not opening this year. So I saw the question. So you can't do that. So that's no good. So people are going to be forced to buy fireworks online that may not be suitable by, by law. And some will buy fireworks from places where they will be buying fireworks from, not all places. And when they do get them, they're going to get them, you know. But also, too, that is not all very good whatsoever. So we're going to be some, but not many. You know, on top of that, people want to go on May 2 for a weekend. Plus, you get Americans that will try to come and visit Canada on May 2 for a weekend. Because the border being closed, they won't be able to visit. So it's going to be like a loss. Financially, to businesses at least that fire on tourism, you know, people cottage here go to cottage, but not doing business that rely on tourism. Mega Falls are gonna, they're gonna be, they're gonna be in there not so happy because they rely on tourism. Clifton Hill, Mega Falls lies on tourism to go. I mean, you know what's gonna happen to it? Floods and floods of Canadians are going to try to cross the border in the United States where things are open now, pretty much. So not all of stuff in New York, most things are. Are they going to flood New York State or flood others? Or were, or people are going to say, okay, let's drive over, let's go to Quebec. Let's visit the province of Quebec. Let's go, let's go to Montreal where things are open. That's enough for people who do that. Go to Montreal. Things open there, do the shopping all in Quebec, come back across into Ontario. That I see coming too. Floods of people going to other provinces shopping. That's what's going to happen too. That's another thing that happened. So, because of that, you know, him. But also too is that, you know, top of that, add on, add, add insult to already a uh, system that too is he, and the HSR are running free ride, but only limited seats. So, you know, what does that mean? All of a sudden, the, the tour front locations are all open at once. Those people are going to turn around, and they are going to, you know, go in. And what's going to happen? No, I know, I know what's going to happen. I know exactly what's going to happen. They're going to get on HSR buses. They're going to fill them up. Ain't and, and they see limited seating capacity, and, and that's going to cause a big troubles on there too, because people are going to get on there, but ain't going to, you know, um, what's going to happen? It's two things. You know what that is? Number one, the bus is going to be full. And, and people who are standing at home care aid won't be able to make their appointments on time. They won't get to where they have to their clients on time. People with medical appointment or doctor appointment or that people trying to do grocery run or do grocery runs either or food runs they're going to do on the on the emergency measure act where I have to I do mind me going willow flake at my back lunch and that can may not happen too because there's a bus of all I know where I can get there. I mean all that going to do is forcing people to use more and uh, more people to use taxi cabs more than ever before. So that is going to be like um, hard. It ain't going to be funny, you know. 
you know, and people are going to start demanding, you know, this on city to, to start opening more seats on buses. When people start demanding it, it can't be like, you know, a nation's argument say, we fall emerging measures act, we got to do that, and vice versa. So, he, um, you know, vice versa. So, the, that caused more troubles, you know. So, you know, and people are looking at, and then and Doug Ford can turn around and say, well, you know, are we going to open up, are we going to do under stage three and open up more businesses, more than open? Well, of course, by that point, HSI is a limit seating, and people are going to bust be full. Nobody can get on. People are going to be so frustrated. They're going to start calling aldermen and councilmen and saying, look, Ten times I couldn't make my home care appointment. Ten times I had to have other people doing it. I couldn't boss it. Ten times this, that, and people could start complaining, putting pressure on our city council to to open up the seating more on the buses. And oh, there's a multi measure accident. No, you can't do that now. So there, people are just gonna get so frustrated that you're gonna not, you know, how is it? I'm just gonna. I get in my car and drive to the grocery store. I'm going to drive, park my vehicle. And they, they're going to start, you know, forcing people to figure it out. I get an e-bike and I go an e-bike and start taking an e-bike everywhere to shopping. How I just going to buy a, a Tesla and go to my shopping. Stuff like that. That's going to happen. And, and then when the emergency order no more, guess what? Nobody will be riding it since our buses are not empty. Be more cars on the road because we're twice as much more cars than there were before because because of that and people call it's are unreliable basically for that point that's what's going to happen too and I see it coming honestly oh yeah I see it coming because them doing that and it's coming I see that coming so I mean they're going to have to think about opening more seats on the buses you know definitely. Because if they don't open more seats on the buses, then you know what's going to happen is you're going to, they're going to, or not, you know, people are going to be like, really going to be screwed. Big, oily, all this. It look great on Doug Ford. Oh, it look great. You're going to do all this. What not so great about it is the, the bus issue, transportation issue, with the limousine bus is going to make it hard for people to face night. So all these people are going to say, well, I'm not doing a business because I don't get my customers off the bus. They only get less than a few off my off HR. So why should I bother opening? So they ain't, ain't going to open. So and they're going to turn around and say, why should I wait until... And they're going to, and they're going to be yelling at Doug Ford, left, right, and center. That's what's going to happen. Find like that Ontario can be out and do demanding this to end. The emergency order got to end soon because it's, it's already hurting, hurting the city of Hamilton. Emergency order hurting Hamilton, hurting people, hurting me too a bit because I was looking forward to 12, but now it's ended to 19. Oh. Every, now he's in 19, ask me too, well, 19 can going to come again, it's probably extended again, so what's the sense on looking for that date, and it can be extended, so, hmm, I'll be, it'll, it'll be, I will be, it'll be a miracle he don't extend the emergency orders anymore, it'll be a miracle he don't, but, yeah, it'll be a miracle, what can happen, people get it so fed with him extending emergency orders in this province like this, that they're going to turn around, and you know what they're going to do? I can see people getting so frustrated in the same way. They're going to go down the park. They're going to use facilities. And they're going to get all kinds of tickets, COVID-19, to help it. And they're going to not pay them. They're going to be going to be flooded. The courthouse going to be flooded with cases. John Spink going to be flooded with all our PO cases. And while well, Doug Ford is going to turn around, well, you know, they're there to protect the people from and people are say, screw you, dog, you know, enough is enough. You know, you know that's what can happen. going to be a surge, I see, coming in the future of people breaking, breaking, breaking every rule in the book and, and a surge of fear to you coming. 
and certain of it, and, and tickets handed out by the hundreds and thousands, and, and people ain't going to pay them. People are going to take them, start going to court, and they're going to start suing the, um, him for millions of dollars. I see millions of dollars. I see a lawsuit coming. Doug Ford getting millions of dollars lawsuit over it. So he better not have to spend it anymore because he's going he to face a lot of problems big time because he's going to force people to move to other provinces to open business. Oh, people are not going to open business in Ontario. Uh, I'm going to go to Manitoba and I'm going to open business in other provinces. Oh, not operating. They're going to drive people to open stores in other provinces, not in Manitoba. Stored up in uh, other Quebec and uh, Manitoba where it will be open, see? Well, Ontario sits and do nothing. Anyway, so that's the worst thing I see coming, him extending it. It's the overcrowding issue. We're gonna, and all that going to start because and people are call it uh, unreliable, overfilled bus, unreliable, unreliable, and they, they're going to, you know, start to um, use. They start driving heavy automobile use coming too. I got nothing enough blog over.